So what I'm going to show you right now is a test that you can do when you are looking at a 7.3 power stroke like this one we have here in front of us um, concerning the glow plug relay. Now it's pretty common for the glow plug relay to fail on these things and the thing that you do is just replace it of course but there's a real quick easy test that you can do to see if the glow plug relay is bad. Um, one of the things that that commonly happens with the relay is that when it when it connects when it clicks it um, will not actually connect inside so the contacts inside go bad and this particular relay here is clicking but there's no power actually being switched on you can see the relays right here okay now I've got these these multimeter leads hooked up to it okay we're gonna because we're gonna do a voltage drop test so a voltage drop test actually shows us the resistance in the relay itself. And on this one, I'm going to put my red lead on the wire that connects essentially right to the battery through a fusible link. And then I'm going to connect the other one to the, the output side. It's got the two wires that go to feed the, the glow plugs on, on each bank. So I've got my, my multimeter hooked up that way, right? And that's ready to go. If you come around and look, I've got the meter set up right here. You can see it's showing 12.5 volts. And that 12.5 volts is essentially our battery voltage. Okay. Um, the reason we're seeing 12.5 is because the red lead is hooked up directly to battery power and the black lead is hooked up to the wires that go to the glow plug. So we're, we're, we're getting ground um, through the glow plugs with the meter hooked up like this. Now, when we crank this engine, we should see this number drop to zero, or it should be something very close to zero. It shouldn't be more than about a half a volt, okay? If we see anything higher than a half a volt, then that tells us we've got excessive resistance in the contacts of that relay, okay? So I'm gonna reach in here, and I'm gonna crank on this thing, and we will see what happens. Okay, turn the key on. Wait to start light comes on, shuts off, and our voltage doesn't budge. Now, not only are we looking at the, that 12.5 number, but down below on our little analog meter, which will show us quick little spikes or drops in voltage, it doesn't budge. So, I'm sitting here turning this thing off and on and you can probably hear the, I don't know if you can hear the click on the, on the video or not, but you can hear a click under the hood where, coming from that relay. And yet that does, our voltage does not drop to zero or anything close to zero. It's staying up very high. So what that tells us is that there is excessive resistance in our glow plug relay. So. We're going to put a new relay in and we will see what happens with a new relay. Okay, there's our new relay installed, shiny and new. We got our leads hooked up in the same place. We're going to see what the voltage drop looks like now that the relay is new. So it should be working properly. So let's go turn the key on again and see what happens. So there's our, our meter right there, and I will turn the key on. If I can get it, okay, there we go. Comes on, okay, now it drops down to 1 point, or 0.198, or somewhere in that neighborhood. So that relay is now actually working. It's actually now doing something. We shut it back off. It goes back up. Okay. So that's the way it should look. Now, this is one way to examine the relays or examine this glow plug relay on, on the power stroke here. This is such a common failure. Lots of people will do it lots of different ways. 
but this is pretty easy to do and it doesn't just tell you that the the relay is bad it gives you an idea how bad and exactly what's going on so that's why we like the voltage drop test <laughs>